If you're thinking about buying art or getting something framed, then Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing is for you. That's a business you don't usually see in the African-American community. Liddy Collins has more. It's an art itself, like, like, like sewing a dress and cutting out the pieces and putting the pieces together. An artist, you know, taking the canvas and, and painting certain pieces of it. Well, framing is an art and a skill also. That's what we are, is framers. And the art gallery, art goes with framing. Framing goes with art. So we built the art gallery uh, to support the framing part of it. Each one supports each other. Meet Fred Robinson, owner and founder of the Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing on Milwaukee's northwest side. Along with his son Fred Jr. and Billy Joyce Nash, this team built a gallery and framing business, a business that was developed over time. They did it in stages. First they learned the business, then brought the equipment, and then set up a gallery for the customers. The art came first, then the framing, with framing being the base for the art gallery. Why an art gallery as opposed to any other venture? I kind of tumbled in this by, by an accident down in Indianapolis when, uh, when I, I seen a guy, he was just selling pictures as fast as he could hand them to customers and I said, I can do that. But as um, going along and doing a little research, it didn't take me long to realize that we should be in the framing business. Um, took about 10 minutes of really thinking about it. You know, what you got to have a frame. So there's uh, a lot of people that have rolled up art in their closet. And it's the reason why it's rolled up is because they can't afford to uh, have it framed. So what we specialize in is affordable framing. We buy a lot of our material in bulk and uh, try to give uh, nice art, decent framing. What type of art does your gallery carry? We have a lot of uh, contemporary black American art and we have art, we try to have a selection of art for everybody. We have uh, florals, we have scenery, we have a mix, a diverse mix of art. Mainly, it's mostly uh, black American art. And we, we're in a black American area. With business picking up, their sales and marketing person is getting trained in the main operation of the business. You're learning the framing business. What kind of training are you going through? Um, I've gone to uh, training um, in uh, Las Vegas, workshops there. Um, also, one of our vendors, Omega, I've been to some training there, and Fred has been training me here. The learning of this business is a never-ending process, and just as there are designers of clothes, there are designers who design patterns and colors for frames. You have to have good equipment, and you have to keep your nose to the grindstone and uh, listen, learn, and we go to seminars on a continual basis to learn to trade. And there are so many different levels of framing. You know, ar archival. Besides archiving, they do preservation. You might have a particular uh, piece that's um, a more of a, a higher quality piece. Um, then what you would have to do is um, use a different type of material to um, so that piece can, can sustain its value. Um, for instance, acid-free mat board, acid-free foam core. Um, you might have glare-free glare glass. Um, and it's it just the materials that, that would be used to frame that piece um, would, would, call, it would call for that particular type of material, more of a better quality of material. If someone brings a piece in that they don't know what it is, we, we do research on the art. Pacing themselves while serving their customers is one of their challenges. It's not just buying a picture, it's the business aspect of it. 
we're exploring getting into even the printing. You know, an artist come in and he has a nice picture and he wants to have that picture distributed. Uh, we can, we're, we're looking at getting into the printing on canvas. If he needs a small run, uh, say 25, addition of 25 or, or maybe even 50. The Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing want people to know the different types of art that's available and how art can enrich their homes. When you want your home to be beautiful, you want accent pieces, art is, is one of those things. Uh, we want them to know, uh, to have an appreciation for art. That's why this gallery is open, so people can appreciate all the different types of art that is out there, but specifically um, African-American art, African-American artists, limited edition prints or small print or something that you just think is beautiful and that it will be framed in a way that it just make you feel good. Mm -hmm.